very much. And look, thanks for, for everyone. I'm looking forward to, to chatting after this, uh, the formal component. But I'm just really here to say thank you uh, for what you do in, in, every day in our communities. I mean, this is a, a, exciting to highlight uh, almost half a million dollars in, uh, in provincial funding um, to support youth in our community. And I think the biggest thing that was probably a learning lesson for me and um, you know, I know that in, in any organization, I mean, it starts with leadership and you have a great leader here in Nicole. Um, thank you for working with our office, with working with government, um, following in, in great footsteps with, with Carol and it's been seamless in, in terms of um, the guidance on what rural needs are for youth. Um, it's a little more complex. It's not perhaps as visible um, given our vast geography and uh, and I but I think it's it's really important so I know this funding um, you've been a part of innovative funding with our police targeting at-risk youth you've been um, you know highlighting uh, both the, the physical needs of the space uh, but also um, innovative ways to reach at-risk youth um, in our community the increasing demand on mental health needs um, especially post COVID-19 we've seen an increasing acuity increasing needs uh, for mental health and at its core I mean our youth are our future and so if we don't create a, a safe inclusive and welcoming environment for them um, ultimately uh, that's should really be why we all serve at different levels and I know I work closely with Coburg this is the fastest growing community in this in uh, in our county and so we work closely with Mayor Cleveland uh, on increasing the number of affordable housing uh, stock for families a wraparound support so that youth can live here and raise a family and see a future here. That's the big one, a future. I was in some schools, they don't even know uh, that NHL whistles are made right across the street here. I didn't even know that. That's pretty cool. Um, you know, for a sustainable forestry sector, all of uh, Miami Dolphins, new retrofit, Scotiabank downtown, we do that all here in Northumberland. So if you want to be on the front line of an EV, a revolution we do it here uh, as well in Northumberland with our uh, custom injection molding uh, you want to be on the front lines of, of woodwork and and it's all happening here at places like Mermill um, but it all starts with setting youth up for success and you do that each and every day so on behalf of the government of Ontario a profound thank you uh, you've been the backbone for the push for a youth wellness hub which you know to service rural Ontario you've been driving that and stay tuned uh, on that one but thank you for your leadership on Nicole and pushing for that and just um, for, for helping our next gen really that's what this is all about uh, we hopefully leave behind a wise uh, saying you know a tree and whose uh, shade you know you'll never sit and really uh, you're providing that shade for, for our next generation so they can thrive in this great community and I just want to say thank you and I'll close uh, just by saying we can't do it without great partners uh, councillors who are here today, um, the mayor, and, and also the agency, uh, Trillium uh, Agency. This is the largest granting uh, funding agency in Canada. Um, they do such remarkable work, and we're very grateful uh, for the work that, that Trillium does um, to support communities and the great people who sit on those boards to help make these decisions. So a big thank you to all of you for joining us um, and for welcoming me here today. So thank you. Um, I would next like to invite Anne. So Anne comes to us from um, the Ontario Trillium Foundation to share a few words. Yes, thank you. It's a pleasure to be here today on behalf of the Ontario Trillium Foundation's local grant review team. Um, OTF is an agency of the Government of Ontario, as you know, um, and over the past 40 years it's become one of the leading grant, maker, grant making organizations in Canada. Last year, thanks to funds we received from the Ontario government, over a thousand grants were issued to nonprofit organizations located in the province. Since 1982, OTF has been focused on helping the nonprofit sector build healthier, more vibrant communities. And that's why it's so special to be here today with you, for me to be here, um, and with all of you to hear how your grant, totaling 444700 dollars have made a difference with the vital work you're doing in the community. It's significant. Rebound made a good case for receiving these grants, a three-year, $309,600 grow grant, and a $135,100 
$1,000 Resilient Communities Fund grant that have helped you to expand on programs like the Collaborative 14 and Under Intervention Program and the Family Checkup Plan, as well as helping rebound to rebuild from the impacts created by COVID-19. The Resilient Communities Fund grant program was established not long after the pandemic began to help nonprofits and small communities. Funds from this grant were used to help rebound with some staffing, consulting with McMaster University and the Offord Center for Child Studies, purchasing tech equipment, software, and program materials as well. I hear this TV actually came from that grant, so I think that's great. It's really nice. <laughs> and funds from your multi-year program, which was created to help non-profit non expand, profits expand on successful programs to create an even greater impact. We're used to help with staffing, transportation, key program costs, as well as software licenses, some equipment, and administrative costs too. Now what I've listed might sound like a big list or a bit of a list, but what it translate into, translate into is giving you the ability to help more young people, and that's so important. Um, as a young as young people are the future, these grants are viewed as strategic investments in the community's future, just as David said. Congratulations to the team at Rebound Child and Youth Services for the work you've done over the last few challenging years. I look forward to, to hearing what you have to share and to learning more about this program. Thank you from Otia. It's okay, Lucas is fine, but I do appreciate <laughs> it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's always fun going after Mr. Pacini. He's much more uh, well-versed at this and much, he, he goes off script all the time, so it's, it's always hard to follow, and I've learned if I keep it shorter, I embarrass myself less, so you'll just have to excuse me. Uh, I did bring my son Rome today, and I can't say there's more uh, support for Rebound as I look to register in some of the programs here. So I took the opportunity to not only come for this announcement, but also look at that. So I, I, I want to take everyone back about what, 10 months ago, and uh, my executive assistant, Tony, would let me know that there's this woman, Nicole, who will not take no for an answer. Um, and so I immediately then showed up to rebound services. And I, at the time, I had no idea about any of the work that's done here, and Nicole very kindly and very patiently walked me through all the amazing work that's being done here and her ambitions. So it's not surprising that I find myself here not 10 months later with a half a million dollar grant being awarded to the very organization that this ambitious woman came to this town to really re-energize and it's great to see the work being done. And uh, I am pleased to be, here, uh, to be here on behalf of my town staff as well as our council, which I have three wonderful representation, uh, representatives here, Councilor Barber, Councilor uh, Miriam Mouton, and of course, I always <laughs> thank you, Councillor Darling. I always like to call Councillor Darling, Councillor Barbara, and vice versa. And then I am worried I'm going to do it and get into the problem. Um, we're excited to be part of this announcement. We've heard it's four hundred and forty thousand, uh, four hundred forty-four thousand dollars, so half a million dollars, going to two separate programs over the next three years. Incredible work. You see, in the town of Coburg, our council committed a strategic plan to a thriving community. It's one of three goals we've set for ourselves to build over the next three years is a thriving community. And by definition, a thriving community is one where every single one of us is able to reach our full potential. You see, our staff and our council are working hard every day to make sure that Coburg residents are both feeling safe and secure as we move forward. But you see, it takes a village to create that safety, that security, and that full potential. So you see, this investment from Trillium and from the province is going to ensure that 400 children and youth in Northumberland County who face barriers, barriers to develop emotionally, barriers to develop social skills, these don't come easy to everyone. And this grant is going to ensure that 400 individuals in our community have those skills to move forward to reach their full potential. This investment is more than just encouraging and helpful. It's needed and it's a priority. I'd like to thank the province and I'd like to thank the Trillium Benefit for recognizing that our children and our future are deserving of this investment. And I'd like to congratulate Nicole and all of Rebound Services for the work and dedication and for the foresight of what you're going to accomplish in the next four years. I look forward to seeing every single one of these achievements being met. So thank you. to be the recipient of two generous grants from the Ontario Trillium Foundation, totaling almost half a million dollars. Uh, 
um, to help bring two valuable programs to life. So that's our queued up uh, collaborative 14 and under intervention program and our family checkup and everyday parenting program. I'd like to first speak to you about QUIP and the impact that QUIP has had. Um, so thanks to the generous program from the Ontario Trillium Foundation, Rebound was able to continue to develop QUIP from a seed grant into a grow grant and um, significantly expanding our commitment to providing comprehensive support to children, youth and families in our community. Specifically designed to assist children aged 14 and under in navigating personal challenges at home, school or within the community, QUIP is tailored for young individuals grappling with trauma, victimization, school suspensions, risk-taking, antisocial behaviors, chronic absenteeism, violence, or bullying. The program has shown positive outcomes, making a meaningful impact on the lives of children, youth, and families, further highlighting Rebound's unwavering dedication to the well-being of Northumberland County's families. Throughout the grant period, this program provided support to over 96 children and youth through a case management model. If we speak about our family checkup and everyday parenting program, um, Rebound's strategic planning process in the sort of early onset of the COVID pandemic revealed critical service gaps, highlighting the pressing need for in intensive parenting and familial support in, in the wake of COVID-19. In response, Rebound's established a collaborative partnership with McMaster Health Sciences team, McMaster University, and the Offord Center for Children's Studies. Supported by a generous Ontario Trillium Foundation Resilient Communities Grant, Family Checkup Program was launched. This program employs an integrated, evidence-based approach, utilizing interviews, questionnaires, and video-based feedback to collaboratively set goals and create plans, assisting families in achieving their desired outcomes. The impact of the Family Checkup Program is further enhanced through the utilization of our Everyday Parenting Program offerings, which are tailored to the strengths and needs of each family identified through the FCU assessment. The Everyday Parenting Program works to identify beneficial changes in family dynamics and interactions, providing valuable parenting strategies to support children with their communication, emotions, and behavior. Throughout the duration of this grant, crucial support was provided to over 170 families in Northumberland County, and both of these programs continue to be in operation today. The addition of this program has further expanded our Family Wellness Hub, which is dedicated to fostering strong and connected families through strength and skill-based supports. When I think about these two programs, I think about what the future of Rebound is. These two programs, both QIP and FCU, are pivotal, pivotal in establishing a comprehensive youth homelessness prevention strategy at Rebound. By offering holistic support to at-risk youth and their families, these programs aim to strengthen familial bonds and equip young individuals with the essential skills to flourish, thereby reducing the risk of homelessness. QIP addresses issues early on by providing tailored support, helping at-risk youth maintain connections with their families and their communities, ultimately lowering the likelihood of homelessness. Similarly, the Family Checkup Program concentrates on improving family relationships and parenting abilities, fostering a supportive environment for youth to thrive. By empowering families with the necessary tools and resources to overcome challenges and promote positive development in their children, this program contributes significantly to preventing youth homelessness. In instances where youth leaving home becomes unavoidable, Rebound remains committed to providing refuge and support to help those transition successfully. We're enthusiastic about exploring new programming to address youth homelessness within our community. According to Without a Home, the National Youth Homelessness Survey, young people aged 13 to 24 constitute approximately 20% of the homeless population in Canada. Each year, between 35,000 and 40,000 young individuals experience homelessness, with 6,000 to 7,000 experiencing it on any given night. Hidden homelessness is prevalent among youth, as many may not immediately or ever seek assistance from shelters due to various reasons, such as lack of emergency services in their area or avoiding them due to safety. This leaves them vulnerable, unable to access the necessary supports to escape housing instability and potential exploitation. These initiatives, along with Rebound's future programming, not only address the immediate needs of at-risk youth and families, but also lay the groundwork for long-term solutions to end youth homelessness in Northumberland County altogether. By supporting Rebound's ongoing and future endeavors, these programs contribute to a holistic approach aimed at ensuring that every young person has the opportunity to reach their fullest potential and thrive within their communities. I'd like to thank everybody that has come in today to join us. Um, we are so appreciative of the support that we receive from the community. We are a small but mighty agency, um, and we are hoping to make our
sleeping giant and become a larger player in the game in the coming years. And we couldn't do that without the support of the community and support of our both local and provincial government. And so for that, we are incredibly grateful. And to the Ontario Trillium Foundation and everyone will have to come back again. We are in the middle of an OTF capital grant and are renovating our spaces. And so we'll be happy to invite everybody back in at the completion of that grant when our renovations have come to their fruition.